Hi guys, welcome to this short vlog of Paris and I hope you enjoy! We started our journey in Munich which was about a one hour flight so it was very quick and was very convenient. This is the Airbnb I got for us. I booked it over New Year's Eve and we got there on 30th December and left on 2nd January. And it was around 170 euros per night, which is quite pricey, but for this experience, it's totally worth it because the location was amazing and so was the view. My favorite part about the apartment was definitely the balcony because it was so amazing. The view was just chef's kiss and honestly, I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> We ended our first day with a few cocktails and we started our next day ready for New Year's Eve. We discovered this restaurant in walking distance and it's definitely worth a try, especially because of the steamed dumplings, because those were just amazing. Afterwards, we took the metro, which was honestly kind of confusing, but it's very cheap, so I definitely recommend giving that a try. And we went to see the Galerie Lafayette, which was beautiful, but there were so many people, so we couldn't stay in there for too long. I did get one thing there, which was this cute necklace, and honestly, I'm just in love with it. For dinner, we went to an Italian restaurant, and I got a lasagna, and my boyfriend got truffle mac and cheese, and both of those things were very good, so I can definitely recommend this place. This was the first time we both got to see the Eiffel Tower up close, which was beautiful, but the place was packed. There were so many people, so we thought it would be best to return to the Airbnb and celebrate our New Year's Eve there. I woke up quite early the next day, considering it was just New Year's Eve the night before that, but when I went and checked outside the window, there were no people outside, no cars, and all the shops were still closed. <laughs> I ordered some breakfast from this place called Season and we decided to breakfast on the balcony. It was a little cold but it was definitely worth it and the food tasted amazing. After breakfast, we made our way to Notre Dame because we had a big bus tour booked for this day and the Notre Dame was the closest stop to our Airbnb and of course we had to stop at Alyssa's souvenir shop on the way. The big bus tour is basically just a sightseeing tour with a hop on hop off concept and it just takes you to the most touristy places in Paris within a one and a half hour ride and there are those little stations where you can plug in your earphones and it just basically tells you about the buildings and the streets along the way so you can get a little bit of that touristy history input. <laughs> Thank you. 
For our last day in Paris, we booked a food tour via Airbnb experience and we had to store our luggage somewhere because we had an early checkout so we chose to use City Locker which is definitely great so I can recommend that when you have an early checkout and don't know where to put your luggage. The last minute of this video is going to be footage of the food tour and our host was amazing. Her name was Alex and she took us to some hidden gems in Paris and they all have great food and I'll definitely leave the names of the places down in the description box so feel free to check that out if you have a plan on going to Paris. And with that, I'm gonna end the video. I hope you enjoyed watching and feel free to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, turn on post notifications, whatever. And if you want to, you can follow me on my social media, which is at Official. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!